Hello folks and welcome back to Bali Spring and here we are, she's fill up with some fuel there we go so yeah some things has happened so first of all that power harrow that we had, cedar that's gone, got rid of it it's completely useless had to do the power harrow separately then seeding and you know what I ain't gonna bother to do that whole, it'll be a nice setup. Nah, that's why I kept it where we acquired the farm. And that's this chap here is a modern our beautiful Deutz farm tractor, which is fair enough a bit muddied, but apart from that, all good. But yeah, four meters working with, I was like, you know what? No. That's why I sold that. Got about forty grand out of that. And I've gone and these a Lincoln Cedar and a plow. The plow we can do with long term potentially. Same with the cedar. However at this stage where we're only harvesting and planting certain times of the year not really anything for us to be concerned about so so again for now I'm happy to lease these stuff. Same with we've just leased a lime spreader. Bought 12,000 litres of lime. I want to get all the fields done today if we can. And yeah, when the time comes, we need to at least a cedar, not a cedar, a herbicide spray as well. Little things like that we need to at least. So eventually, I'll have to acquire all these. So when we do the contract work in that, as usual, as I always, fast cars shooting past us. But yeah, we did acquire these out of shop we do have a few bags at the farm I doubt we're going to use all this today well I want to say to get everything done today I mean today and November there is a bell wrapper in the shop so that's the thing we've got a bather so what's the harm in that nah, getting the bell wrapper Will make her life so much easier now. So yeah, I'm not too sure. But we will detach this. But first of all, we need to plow up the grass field that we done in the last episode. Same with the wheat field. They can be plowed up first of all. The grass now on the other fields. I want to mow them. Maybe what we'll I have to do is a lot of them will have to be done off camera. Also, around about half past six, seven o'clock, the silage is going to be ready. So we can finally have some proper feed for our cows. Our calves, they're doing alright, but there are some hungry boys. And maybe once they're a bit more grown up, we sell some of them. But in terms of our heifer Holstein cows, adult ones, they're alright at the moment. They've got 60,000 years of silage. I'm hoping that will last a while. There we go, and we're plowing. And we're doing this at 11 miles an hour. Not too bad. And I'm just going over the edges roughly. Also, in that episode, which I didn't actually hollow, we did took down the gate post and a couple lines of fencing just to open this up a bit. I am tempted to get rid of the hedgerows and that and have like one big old massive field. We may do that at some point, but not yet. We need to really keep things as they are at the moment just to. Divide and conquer, really. Because there's so much we need to do. In terms with just getting everything done. We need silage and a lot of it. So, as I said, I'm half tempted to turn these fields here into grass fields. And then the main one up there could be a wheat field potentially. Because we do need straw as well, so more more wheat we get, more straw we get. 
however, just thinking about that, I'm com more comfortable doing the mowing on the hill terrain, doing the harvesting that with our little mass ED, 5350, 5360, wherever it is we got. That may prove a bit challenging. But anyways, we are going to continue on this, get these two fields done, and then we'll start doing the seeding. with the ploughing and lime done now it's time to seed and yeah I did realize afterwards we did forget to mulch this because these the mulcher how much would it be for a mulcher but rollers where's the mulchers too there we go so yeah mulchers Something like 1100 that would have cost us, but oh well. We do need some rollers. And perhaps that could fit through. Give that a go, perhaps. Two grand. I did buy, well, I did install a cheap one for us for the farm, but let's try it with a slightly bigger one if we can get away with it. But anyways, we'll worry about that in a minute. For now, we need to start seeding. So this will be... Oops, I think... Doesn't matter on the... Time of when it's gone into the ground, so... You know what? Let's do oats for a change. There we go, and we're seeding. And yeah, because of the sandy loam, we've got a quite a high seed application rate of 280 seeds per minute or per meter squares. So yeah, higher than ideal, but sometimes needs must. So yeah, we're gonna do oats in this field. We may do another crop of wheat. I should, yeah, we'll do oats again in the other field. Let's get around to the heads. At least, then we've got some two 
decent sized arable crop fields in. All the other grass fields will keep us grass because we do need them. Of course we have mown them first, just collect what's there at the moment, then plough it, then increase that yieldage, yeah, because it was at the moment. Yeah, our expected yield is 75%, 4.3 tonnes per hectare, 4.2 tonnes, but we can get around the 4.6 tonnes per hectare. So yeah, that would have required bulging and rolling, so we get about 4.4 tonnes per hectare on this field. Better than nothing, I guess, but yeah, it's definitely not the most ideal, but it's one of those things, it is what it is. Can't complain about it too much. But yeah, this seems to do the job just fine. If it's through all the gates fine, so we may end up buying one of these at some point. But at the moment, I should rather save our money on other stuff. Okay, there's a section there that need to go in for some reason. And that's the head and done. So now, I think we'll get away with it. If we say set a worker off. Go. Actually, where's Deutsch for six series? We'll grab you. Oh, just there. How fortunate. So, yeah, we'll get the Deutsch for six series to do the seeding in that. That's when then we can use this. Grab some mowers and start mowing up the other fields. Divide and conquer. Now, whatever bits it doesn't do afterwards, we can just do it ourselves. So, where are the mowers to? That's a header's trader. That's a weight. One more there. Where is the other mower to? It's not a shop. Where did I leave that? Better be a sec whilst I go and find that. There we go, got the mowers now, so where's the entrance to 62? Just here, so be careful with gates. Oh shut up. So yeah, we've got 62 to do. 68. 67 if I'm correct. So yeah, 62, 67, 68. And then we've got our two big fields up there, so quite a bit of work to do. And we'll try to get a lot of this done today, so we can use this to make silage. And I may just go with the bell wrapper and that. We still use the bunker side clamp from time to time, but it will make our life a bit easier. Yep, yeah, I we'll have the end turner. Go with a Vicon foil cutter. Let's go with blue. So in total that is thirteen grand. And yes, it's new and not new in that. And if it was a combine officer, then I would be concerned about that because yeah, used equipment is cheap, but it's cheap for a reason. Because it's heavily worn, needs to repair it. And then obviously it wears quicker now because it's already had a high amount of operating hours on it. But things like a bell wrapper, that can make two difference whether it's 0% worn brand new or 99.9% .9 worn. Whatever it affects the speed of, I don't know, how fast it wraps it all. But 
Besides from that, no real harm. Okay, actually, well, this field is actually a bit more yieldage, actually. 90% yield bonus, so we're getting a bit more grass compared to the other fields per hectare, so that is a good sign to see. But anyway, so we'll continue on this. We'll do clips of doing the rolling, and then we'll may meet up again on November once we're done with. Actually, we'll meet up later on because we do need to feed the cattle off our delicious signage. half past six. We've leased some belts to help us pick up the silage. We've got three fields all seeded and rolled and lined so 64, 5 and 6 are done. 63, 1 and 9, 1 and 10 and these other three fields here they've all been mowed. However, I haven't had time to do any wind rowing or anything like that whatsoever. I haven't had time to do any of the heading contracts, the hay contracts. So we'll park that there. I'll just open that up. Bunker side opens. 
351,000 liters. And now what we need to do is go and grab the other belt, which is just across the road. So I bought it here and just parked it to the side of the road. There we go. Hopefully the farmer on that field didn't need access to that anytime soon, whilst we was parked. And we'll just take you over here. I've got the old Deutz fart. That is with the trailer at the garage. And we need to bring that up here to the shop. Not to the shop, but I'm bringing it to the farm. But yeah, this requires a lot of adjusting. This will do, as I've learned in the past. unfolded and now let's get you into position actually we may need to put the lights on there we go just so that I can actually see what I'm doing there we go back it up Is there something cool in here? No. There. Was it being weird? There we go, that's better now. Nope, not quite. Yeah, for some reason, that is setting up the steering. That's it. There we go, so that's filling up now. Now let's grab the old Deutz farm. Take us back to the farm and then we'll get all the sliding shoes up. Here we are, back at the farm with the trailer. And all this sliding here is going to be for the cows. So we'll start by how are the calves doing. Are they out of food again? Almost out of food, so we can do we can top up the main cows here first of all. That won't take too long. And then we'll go over and drop some food to the calves. Basically, it's just a growing process of our uh, pickup, dropping to there, and that, going to there. Let's do some more lo lights around here. How much are the lights? Getting quite dark in that. And decorations, lights. Yeah, something like that would do. Put one there. And we can have another one here. Just to light up the farm in that. And then one more over here. That's better. Now we've got better illumination. Okay, that's max. 18,000 years. This can hold. Is that because of the tractor or just the trailer itself? Too short. Whoa, what's going on there? That just glitched out for no reason. Why? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. There's a few glitches. 
of this shit on this map, but that ah, just takes a cake. And that's lost. We lost bloody 10,000 litres of them. There we go. Back to feeding our cows <laughs> after our little situation. We'll get ourselves refunded for our 11,000 litres of silage we lost in some way, form or another. But yeah, I just can't believe that. But there is a lot of silage to deal with. There we go, it's filling up, it's emptying. So far, so good, that's going in. Yes, could be a little bit of a tedious process, but at the moment, that's the best way to do it. We don't have a front loader, but it's only a thousand litre bucket. Actually, probably in fairness, actually, we can use that, so you're over there. in the fields. Ah, there we go, just over here. So, yeah, we'll grab the front loader and see what we can do with that. Because I'm not sure if I had front loader option on the Deutz R7 series. But I know I've had it enabled for this one and the older 6 series. Let's go and just get you one. But yeah, like the forge wagon. Ah, the forge wagon. I completely forgot we still got that leased out. To it. Yes, I parked it up, didn't I? Would that work? I don't know. That's why I kept it. Well, it was part for that and the silage. But if we're doing silage bells from now on, we can return this. That's why I kept it and heard the six hundred pounds. Decent fee. Now, the thing is, I don't get stuck here. That's also the more important thing. 15,000 years of silage you can handle. Or don't get stuck, please. Oh, come on. Tracks are free, come on. There we go. So, yeah, no real ideal solutions here. It's just literally the Forge Wagon idea was an admirable idea, but. Ah, uh, on those here are beached. Oh, things aren't going well. Yeah, size bells, it's the way to go. Set. Let's go and grab this. I'm going to do a cheeky, cheeky lease. I'm not spending eight grand on buying it. Let's go and get that and recover our equipment. There we go. Managed to get this free, and the Deutsche Force 7 did actually have a front loader and. That's made all the difference. The 6 Series was absolutely struggling. Now, we've got U3. There we go. That's it. There we go. So yeah, that's it learned. A few things. One, don't go in here sideways. With the tipper. Don't use a forage wagon in a massive bunker soil clamp unless you've got huge ground clearance and all that. So yeah, valuable essence. And as well as all that time, if we just sit with the bucket, we wouldn't have been done by now. Oh well, you learn some, you lose some. As much as we can do with a front loader and that. Or not a front loader, a wheel loader, that'd be even better. Alright, needs to clear us up. But anyways, we'll get the rest of this done now. We'll drop this asset to the 
cows, and then we'll do the two of those to the cows, the calves. And then that's why I think we'll rest up until tomorrow, because we are, we've lost the light now, so. But yep, yeah, get us done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. Good morning, there we go, that is all the cows fed, they're all topped up with some delicious foods. And boy, that was a lot of sizes they took. Hopefully it lasts a fair while. But at least um, we can use this as a scale of how much food they will need and consume each month. So yeah, topped up the cows and the cows. They all got pretty much the calves. Maybe a couple thousand years they could do with, but I'm not too worried about that. There we go. Get a belt system on. Get a tipper. And this is the best way I figured out going about it. Boom, there we go. So, all in all, we've got only 90,000 years there, so that's about 60, 70%. About six, no, about 62% of our soils that already gone to the foods, already gone to the cows as food. So, yeah, the calves, they've got 137,000 litres of food. That should last a while. And the adult ones, they've got 133,750, including that bit of grass and hay. So, what I may do is let the soils run out. And then that grass and the hay run out. But, at least now, we've got milk being produced. So, yeah, we'll case off. They needed at least silage to get milk underway. And that's fine, that's fair enough. And these are almost a quarter way of hitting puberty. So they hit puberty at 12 months. Just having a look down here at the information. But yeah, nothing I want to look at is the war situation. So finances, uh, property maintenance, new, water cost, yeah. So see, it's gone up over time. So was it August? Not focused on that, but September it was twenty eight hundred. Last month it was three grand, and we're looking about 
three grand again, maybe it's slightly more, three one hundred. Yeah, through you know, through two hundred, I'd say. But yeah, we still got a loan to pay off as well, so yeesh. that's why I'm not rushing to buy equipment because we need to get that loan down. But I'm keeping the money for now because I just want to see how we fare over the winter and all that. Actually, how much? We've got eleven thousand liters of wheat. Perhaps could sell it in February. Maybe. But yeah, so next time we've got a lot of work to do. We've got all the fields to pretty much mow. Oh no, not 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 mow, sorry. Yeah, grass scrum, so yeah, just wind brodies. And then pick them up. Where did I leave my mirrors to? Did I leave them across here again? If I did... Oh yeah, I did. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Because, in the next episode, we need to start... Didn't we do that? We need to start doing some of these contracts, get these done. And I don't mind doing the telling contracts, because they're quite easy to do. Not as profitable compared to the size contracts, but so yeah, we've got got 25 and 35 to do, and we also got was it 100, 116? So to get to 25 and all that, I'm guessing it's going to be on this side over here. So go across and across and up and round. But yeah, we'll do all of that in the next episodes. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for those you do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.